Hello. In this next clip, Vicky Goddard, who's our Head of Faculty Operations in Biology, Medicine and Health, will explain how during the COVID-19 pandemic, all of the staff and students across the faculty responded in a very flexible and agile manner to deal with the very rapidly changing scenarios that we faced on a day-to-day -day basis. The success of our COVID response in the faculty has really been down to our people who've been amazing right across the board in terms of their resolve, their commitment and their determination to do what we need to do to help the faculty and the university get through. So whether that's our clinicians, our researchers, our teachers, our students or our professional services staff, everyone has worked together in a fantastic team effort to really pull out the stops and do everything we can. Alongside those staff who went back into clinical practice, we also had people volunteering down at the Lighthouse Lab at Alderley Park, where they were dealing with COVID tests and enabling people to get their test result back. So we had people from right across the faculty volunteering in a number of ways to really help the national effort. And as you know, we had to close down much of the campus and much of the work we were doing at very short notice in March. And the teams worked amazingly well to ensure that that happened and that we did that safely. Of course, some essential research and related work continued all the way through, particularly around COVID research, which again was really helpful in enabling us to support everything we needed to do for the country. And then we had to open up again, uh, starting from July, with our researchers coming back to labs. And again, that was a brilliant team effort from people putting up posters about reminding people to wear masks, through to working out how we would social distance in our labs, to working out the risk assessments and all of those related areas around our research and then our students coming back in for part of their teaching face-to-face -face in September. Across teaching and learning, uh, since lockdown, we've had to respond to all sorts of things and, and deal with lots of challenges and new ways of doing things. So people will be aware of the admission situation in the summer when the A-level situation was changing on a what felt like an hourly basis at times and our admissions teams right across the faculty were amazing in their ability to respond to that and to ensure that we were able to admit and support the right students across the the faculty. More broadly, we've had the massive challenge of looking at what of our teaching we can put online and how we can create a more blended learning approach for our students right across the faculty. That's something that's been thought through all the way through since lockdown and we've had teams right across the faculty working on that to think about what we still need to do face to face, what laboratory sessions we still needed to put on, what we could put online and then how we were able to do that and how we were able to work together to provide the right materials in the right way on the right platforms and again people have come together in an amazing way to enable that to happen right across our schools. I'd like to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to everybody right across the faculty. Students, staff, everyone that we work with within the university and more widely have just shown such resilience, such agility, such flexibility throughout the time that we've been working in this different kind of way and you've just been amazing. Um, Everyone's had some really challenging times but we've looked out for each other's well-being. I've been really uh, amazed at how well people have supported each other and that's something that I'd just like to say thank you again for.